chapter one, section one, example number five. In this particular example, we want to translate the English phrase into an algebraic break equation. Excuse me on that. You can already see that I'm already starting to take some shortcuts when I'm writing these English phrases down just because I don't like to write, I rather type, and I like to look for shortcuts where I can find them. Notice that in this first phrase, the product of six and a number, well, I use that little sign right there as an abbreviation for a number. Well, that's what translating to an algebraic expression really means is that we're looking how to rewrite these using some shortcuts that can help us understand what's being said. Okay, the product of six and a number is 30. Do you remember what product meant? Product was multiplication. So what am I multiplying to? I'm multiplying six and some number. So six times, and in this case, let's use a variable x, six times x. I'm also given a new word, which is, which is, is, and is always means equals. So I'm just gonna rewrite is as equals 30. So there I have is I have the algebraic equation written from this English translation. The product of six and a number is 30. In the second one, I have seven less than three times a number gives 17. Now remember, this is one of those subtraction ones. So I have to remember, which way do I subtract? Well, this is saying seven less than something. Three times a number. So I'm going to start with three times a number. Seven less than this is 3x minus 7. And the phrase says gives, which also implies is or provides a result in 17. So I have the equation. 3x minus 7 equals 17, which is the same thing as written in this English phrase.